I am going to solve this problem 2 9. In this problem, it is said that the resultant of these two forces has a magnitude of 1200 pound and it is acting directly horizontal to the right. Right? So, this force, the resultant of these two forces is horizontal and the direction is towards the right. So, we are asked to determine the magnitude of this f and this theta. So, let's suppose if, if I draw that resultant here on this diagram. So, let's suppose if, if this is that resultant which is acting towards right and its magnitude is given the resultant magnitude is 1200 pound right and if i draw another force that 900 force here right so either suppose if this is that 900 force so they will make a triangle a closed triangle if this is the resultant of these two forces so this is that force right and this is that 900 pound force and this 900 pound force is making 60 degrees with the vertical, right? So, let's suppose if I draw a vertical axis, uh, vertical line here. Let's suppose if this is that vertical line. So, this is making 60 degrees. This is given, right? And if I draw another horizontal line here. If I draw a horizontal line here, so then this force is, if this is 60 degrees and if this is, if, if, if these two are perpendicular to each other, so then as a whole this angle is 90 degrees, so then this angle is 30 degrees and this line is parallel to this uh, force and if this is 30, so then this is also 30 degrees. To find this uh, F magnitude, we can apply a cosine's law since we know this uh, force magnitude and this force magnitude and the included angle between them. So, to apply cosine's law F square will be equal to 900 square plus 1200 square minus 2 into 900 into 1200 and cos of the included angle and the included angle is 30 degrees. So, if I solve this, so we will get the magnitude of the F that is required. So, the magnitude is 616 pounds, right? So, this is the required magnitude. Now, we are asked to find this theta, right? So, now we know this magnitude of this force, right? So, that magnitude is 616 pounds, right? So let me write it here. So, this is that so, now we can apply sine's law to find this theta, right? So, if I write that sine of theta divided by the magnitude of the opposite side. So, this is 900 pound opposite to that theta. So, I will divide it by 900 and then this will be equal to this uh, F. So, I will take the sine of 30. So, sine of 30 divided by the magnitude of the opposite force, right? So, this is 616. So, I will write 616. So, this will give us theta and this theta will be equal to sine inverse 900 sine of 30 degrees divided by 6, 616. So, if I solve this, so we will get that theta which is required. Theta is equal to 46.92 degrees, right? So, this is the magnitude of that force in rope A and this is the angle that is made by that rope with the resultant, right? So, this is the solution of this problem.